Welcome back. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to make a knife at home using relatively common tools. For steel selection, we have W2 that we ordered online, a leaf spring from previous projects, an old saw blade, and a file we found in the shop. For this project specifically, we plan to use the W2. After making your steel selection, it's time to move on to cutting. We have two options shown. We have an angle grinder that we found at a hardware store for about $10. Definitely worth the investment. Or you can go with a hacksaw. We have a bone saw shown because believe it or not, we couldn't find the hacksaw. After choosing what you're going to cut the steel out with, go ahead and draw up any knife shape that you want. If you choose the angle grinder, put on a cutting disc and just go from there. After cutting out the knife shape, we switched over to the grinding disc to drew it all up. For drilling the holes where the pins will go, we recommend using a drill. Either a hand drill, an electric drill, or a drill press. They all seem to work fine.
Moving on to the handle. For our knife, we used an oak board, but you can use any hardwood, even tree branches. After cutting out the wood scales, go ahead and lay the knife on top, mark where the holes will be, and then drill them out. Next, we recommend grinding the edge before you attempt to harden the blade. But remember, whenever you grind this edge, try to keep it at about a coin's thickness, roughly a sixteenth, to avoid cracks when quenching. For hardening the blade, go ahead and dig a hole and fill it with charcoal. But don't use briquettes, it causes pitting. We recommend using hard lump wood charcoal. After heating the steel evenly to a cherry red color, go ahead and test it with a magnet. If the magnet doesn't stick, it's ready to be quenched. We're quenching in canola oil.
After hardening the blade, you're moving on to tempering. Tempering removes the brittleness from the blade. You're going to want to clean the surface so you can see the colors run. You want to go for a golden wheat color. Try not to go any higher than that. That means like purple, blue, anything like that is definitely not what you're going for, especially for a knife. After tempering, we're going to go ahead and clean things up and true up the edge. For this, we're using a flap disc. You're going to want to run through the grits though. You're going to start with a low grit, moving all the way up to a high grit. I believe we finished this knife using 120 grit to give it kind of a duller finish, but also a nice, nice shiny finish. When grinding, an important thing to remember is to keep the blade cool. You don't want to ruin the temper that you just gave it by overheating it. We just kind of dab it with a wet towel periodically just to make sure it doesn't get too hot. After you're satisfied with the grinding and the edge you put on, it's time to put the knife together. For this knife, the handle is going to be both pinned and glued. We're using 5 minute epoxy for this. After the epoxy is set, you're going to go ahead and shape the handle. For this, we used a flap disc on the angle grinder. You can use a file, sandpaper, really anything that takes off wood to get the handle to the desired shape that you're looking for. After the flap disc, we hand sanded a little bit to kind of kind of smooth things out, and then we applied a layer of linseed oil. This is optional, but we we really recommend sealing the wood with something. It just it just kind of protects it for the long haul. For sharpening the knife, we're using whetstones. We have a coarse and a fine whetstone. So on that note, thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can see the next time that we post. Until next time.